Test the Python script or the automation on CUCM version 12.5. Before you run the script on CUCM version 12.5, please make sure that you have made the necessary changes described in one of the previous lessons, CUCM 12.5 Excel Schema, under the setting up the environment to avoid the Excel and Zip error. In CUCM 12.5 Call Routing, Route Plan Report, this is the Mira DN 1001, and these are the Mira devices and profiles I have added to this call manager to extract the configuration values. So that can be used when provisioning new lines and devices for the new starter. User management, end user. This is the new user ID, SHARS of 1251, I have created for the new starter to associate the profiles and devices. And it's also a local end user. If it's an LDAP sync user, you will not be able to configure or modify some of the parameters, such as password. So remember to comment out or remove those relevant config parameters from the script. At the moment, no UC service profiles have been associated, no control devices. No extension mobility profiles, no primary extension, and no access control group. Also, I don't have a UCCX context center expert setup for this UCM 12.5 cluster, and this user is not a CCX agent. So I will not have an IPCC extension for this user, just the primary extension. So again, please make sure to comment out or remove the config line from the script to prevent the automation from failing on the user update step. Okay, let's go to Jupyter Notebook and run the automation. Back in Jupyter Notebook, I have already made the necessary changes to the script to avoid the errors. So let's run the automation and see what happens. Click Run. Enter CUCM version 12.5. DN 1001 user ID full name enable voicemail yes UDN 1201 MAC address one medal Let's enable CSF Java, Java for Windows. By default, the automation will also create a UDP profile for this new starter. Hit enter. It created the DN first and the phone, Java profile, extension mobility profile updated the end user and finally added the primary DN to the end user. Okay, let's go back to the CUCM and verify. Back in CUCM, before running the script, we had only this mirror DN and these mirror devices. Click find again. Now you see the new DN1201 and the new devices and profiles that we created using the automation. Let's open the phone first. Here you can see all the relevant or mandatory configurations such as device pool, phone button template, phone profile, call in search space, MRGL, location, etc. Let's go to the line. You can see description, alert in name, voicemail profile, call in search space, voicemail tick boxes, display and line text label, and also the external phone number mask. Let's look at the Jabba profile.
Again, here also you have the mandatory configuration such as device pool, calling search space, MRGL, location. And you have the owner ID and also the primary phone, same phone which we created earlier, ending 1251. Let's go to the line. You have all the necessary configuration. Let's scroll down to the end. Here you have the user ID associated with the line for the present purpose. Let's also check the UDP profile. You can see you have a profile of 7965. Let's go to related links and change it to subscribe services and click go. You can see this UDP profile is now subscribed to extension mobility IP phone service. Finally, let's look at the end user. No device or profiles has been associated to it. Let's refresh the page. Scroll down. Now you see, you see service profile. Java has been associated as a control device. Extension mobility profile as a control profile. Primary DN 1201. And also the access control group with all these roles. Okay. Now we have successfully provisioned these devices and profiles for the user ID SHASAF1251. This will allow the new starter to log into Cisco Java or an extension mobility enabled phone with their username, password, or PIN number. Next video, we will run the automation on the latest CUCM version 14.0.